Adrián Roballo, the editor of Alempaque and Conversion, and we're here with Don Nolan, who is the president of the Material Groups of Avery Tennyson. Thank you, Don, for this interview for Alempaque and Conversion. Well, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Uh, I would like to ask you, uh, from the technological point of view, what are those printing trends that you think are uh, having a big impact or reshaping the labels mm -hmm. industry mm -hmm. at the moment? I think that the trends uh, continue to be the same. I mean, that we would continue to see tremendous growth in uh, on the film side. We to just continue to see innovation uh, that is driving a whole lot of brand uh, brand owners to think about whether or not they use paper or film. Uh, everybody's trying to be different on the shelf, and film can offer a tremendous amount of versatility in the look and feel and uh, what brand owners are trying to accomplish. So I would say we continue to say gro growth in films, uh, film uh, versus paper, and. Uh, there's, there's a tremendous amount of interest now in sustainability. Um, a number of, of uh, converters and end users now are much more interested in uh, where the materials came from and uh, how they're going to be recycled. So mm -hmm. That's a key trend. Mm -hmm. And what can you tell us about the security issues, security mm -hmm. brand, brand mm -hmm. management and security issues? Yeah, clearly security is becoming a hotter and hotter topic around the world. Uh, whether in India, China, um, Philippines, any place in the world now, people want to talk about how they're going to keep their brand secure. Uh, even just recently, there was some news that came out in the United States uh, that pharmaceutical uh, brands uh, have significant uh, concerns. So I don't think there's anybody right now in the world who's not thinking about it. Um, so there's plenty of opportunity here for converters to innovate in that space. Um, Avery Denison will continue to offer materials, uh, versatile materials, that will help people to see uh, security in different ways. And uh, the, the, uh, clearly, the um, converters are taking the lead on some great, uh, great innovations out there. In Earlier in your presentations, you mentioned interactive um, yeah. labels. Yeah. What can you tell us about this niche and this opportunity for Latin American yeah, near field, converters? Yeah, near field communication. It's, um, it's a small but growing niche. Um, mm -hmm. We're seeing more and more people. You know, RFID has now uh, it's riding the wave in apparel. Uh, clearly, uh, RFID is uh, extremely popular on the apparel side and uh, growing incredibly fast. Um, as the cost per unit comes down, it becomes more and more um, applicable for, uh, for uh, more expensive uh, beverages. And at some point, uh, near field communications will, will maybe uh, much more uh, ubiquitous. I think it's right now it's a niche. Um, everybody's fascinated by it. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, mm -hmm. So we'll continue to see examples of it uh, in niche applications. Yeah. Being the, the president of the group materials of every Denison and, and knowing very well the Latin American market, which country markets would you say are the, more dy the most dynamic at the moment? Well, here I am in Colombia, and you're asking me this question, so I have to start with Colombia. Uh, Colombia has just changed so much in the last 10 years. Uh, clearly, this is a great uh, growth avenue uh, for anyone in Latin America. Um, I see more and more export out of Colombia, uh, so I think Colombia has become quite a hub. But all the countries that border uh, Colombia, uh, certainly in Peru, uh, we're seeing tremendous growth. Um, across South America, there's tremendous energy, uh, so uh, I, don't, I don't think anybody has, has escaped the growth opportunity list um, that um, every corporation is targeting. Uh, you know, I would say uh, Brazil, Argentina, Chile, uh, I would say the established, you know, the cone, mm -hmm. uh, continue to look good. Um, clearly, Argentina has been challenged uh, with some of the, the, the uh, economic uh, issues down there, but even even with that, they're growing. So um, I'm really excited that the Lalo Expo Summit was here uh, was was uh, the first one in the Indian region. Uh, was uh, up here in Medellin because uh, again, I think Colombia uh, represents tremendous growth opportunities here for the region. Thank you. And compared to other emerging regions mm -hmm. of the world, which position do you think has Latin America mm -hmm. in the label industry? Yeah. So uh, interestingly, as we look around the world, um, Latin America is our number one growing region. So uh, it's growing faster than any other. So uh, there's a great opportunity. There's great opportunity here, and. Uh, you know, the energy here at the uh, at the summit is clear. What is the rate, the growth rate, annual growth rate of the industry in Latin America? Um, so we're seeing uh, we're seeing mid teens uh, kind of growth uh, year over year. So uh, tremendous growth. Also, uh, I would like to ask you about uh, digital printing because you mentioned in your presentation that is one of the 
biggest trends happening right now. Mm -hmm. What is your view on the, this growth of digital printing? You know, digital printing uh, continues to grow and accelerate as people find new ways uh, to use this uh, versatile technology to differentiate in the marketplace. Um, I don't think there's a limit. This, to me, this is the personalization trend continued. So uh, we see it in a number of our, our businesses that we serve. So I'll give you one, another example outside of labels. Uh, we also sell a product called Supreme Wrap. It allows you to personalize your car. So you can wrap your car and, uh, and in any color you'd like. Custom color, you want a color to match your dress for an evening out, you can have your car match your dress. So it's this personalization trend in our, in our mind is just continuing. And digi the digital uh, revolution that's been sweeping labels, uh, this is part of it. So. And what influence does this uh, growth in digital printing have on the use of, of materials? Well, we think it's uh, increasing the size of the market. Uh, we think what's happening is, uh, you know, it's difficult to compete uh, with some alternate technologies. But the nice thing about pressure sensitive is it's very easy to change online. You, know, you can switch a rollout and uh, and move to much smaller uh, batch size uh, for manufacturers. So um, it's. It, Pressure sensitive and digital go hand in hand in our minds. So this is good for our technology. I think it's good uh, for the industry, and um, I'm excited. Um, so Definitely. you heard some of the growth numbers that we were talking about. It's it's, uh, it's great. Thank you very much, Tom, for this interview. Oh, thank you, Lynn. It's great to have the opportunity to sit down.